It's been quite a year for Japan's number one player, Kei Nishikori. In January, he broke into the top 20 for the first time, and he's continued his assault on the higher echelons of men's tennis, hitting 16th spot in early September. Life for this 22-year-old couldn't be much better. You know, I like, I like how it's you know going for me. You know, uh, and uh, I like the tour. And uh, you know, when it's when I'm playing well, you know, it's happy to play, of course. And uh, you know, I like to go in a lot of countries and a lot of trouble. He is already Japan's most successful player ever. As Kei is discovering, with success comes newfound fame. I think I'm getting, you know, famous, <laughs> especially in Japan now, you know. Um, but I, it is happy to, you know, to be like that, and you no, know, not much people can feel that way. So I'm having fun. Kei is coached by Dante Bottini, a former ATP World Tour player himself. It's proved to be a winning formula. The man in the corner is crucial to that impressive rise through the South African Airways ATP rankings. My coach Dante is working really well, so I think I have a good ranking now. Nishikuri missed large parts of 2009 and 2010 through injury, so now he works hard in the off-season to maintain his fitness. It's going to be important for me to to work November, December off season because I have a lot of injuries uh, before. I had a surgery, my elbow, I had a tough time there. So I don't want an injury again. So I have to really work it my, my body. Known for his speed and endurance, Kay also has a favorite shot, which he uses to devastating effect. Forehand, it's always uh, my weapon. I, even when I was little, I'm, I'm trying to go around with my forehand and hitting, hitting a lot of winners. That's, uh, I think, one of my weapons. Kay won his first ATP World Tour title in 2008 at Delray Beach and was a two-time finalist in 2011 at Basel and Houston. But getting to the sharp end of a tournament means more pressure. Yeah, it's not easy to play finals. I I used to not think much, but uh, playing three, four years now, playing tour, and uh, I start more thinking about it. And now it's not a, not easy to to get to final and uh, play final, because you know you get nerve, a lot of nerves, and you really think a lot of you know uh, a lot of things like point wise and. But uh, I try to, you know, stay calm and uh, not not think too much. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Kay didn't speak a word of English when he moved to the USA at just 14, but he quickly settled and is still based in Florida. So now he relishes the opportunity to go home to Japan and showcase those talents in front of his adoring fans. I feel, you know, comfortable. To in playing Japan and a lot of fans uh, cheering for me in in the tournament. So hopefully I can do well and uh, I haven't get to you know good result for the that tournament. So hopefully I can get a uh, good result this year. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, presented by Rio, it's time to shine at the Shanghai Rolex Masters. And we meet Zhang, a Chinese player with some very big ambitions. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter. See you next week.